This week's K-pop music Monday will be the review that Korea deserves, but not the one that it needs. With boyfriend's Janus. about time. Boyfriend has been around for a while, but we've never actually had the chance to speak about them before for a K-Pop Music Monday, and today is the day. To celebrate, we bought a special copy of the special edition Boyfriend Jaina CD, so stick around to the end of Music Monday to see how you can win it. We're happy that we're reviewing this song because this is probably the first Boyfriend song that we actually like. I think their past songs are very hardcore cutie sounding, and the videos are heavy with the power of male Eggio. Meggio! And it's just not really our style. Oh wait, I did kind of like I'll Be There with its weird synth solos. It's almost a really good song in my opinion, except for that orchestra. I really like that trickling computer noises in the background of the chorus, and I would have really, really liked the song if only they got rid of that orchestra. I know the song is supposed to be all dramatic, but orchestra should be saved for something more epic, not for breaking up with your girlfriend. So for now, this just seems a bit cheesy and trying too hard. I kind of had the same complaint about not liking the use of those Spanishy guitars and in Black song as well. But Martina disagrees with me on that point. It doesn't seem to bother her. Come on, Simon. That chorus is so catchy. I've been singing it all week. Now, because this video was a bit confusing at first, we looked up the English translation of the lyrics online to see if it could help us better understand the video. Allow me, then, to read you a section of it. Are you ready for this? I don't think you are. Ahem. Your small trembling shoulders. Your small lips. I'm sorry. You collapsed before me. You swallowed me up. Hotly. Two thoughts here. Number one, did I just read an excerpt from an adult novel or did I just get trolled by an online translation? For once, I'm very happy that the music video doesn't match the lyrics. Second thought, how did the Ministry of Banishment not take this down? This is porn! I already told you, you need to ghost Jutsu's every move. If he so much touches the banana, I want you to burn the whole forest down. Do you understand me? I've spoken! Ugh. He whispered in my ear and said, I really want to touch myself because Make a love, baby. Just make a love. Bounce me. Oh, oh. Don't take it in butt. As for the video itself, you might be unsure about what happened, so here's the basic breakdown. The whole point of the video is to show the struggle between your inner reactions to a situation. The guy in white is doing his best to not be upset and break down in front of his girlfriend who has left him, but on the inside, he's really utterly devastated and upset, which are the scenes with the fire and the black suits. The guys that come in later, we're guessing are his consciousness or something, and they have mixed reactions to the situation. Some are comforting him, and some are laughing at him. By the way, your consciousness Consciousness is a dick. But what we don't get is that there are literally no verbal communications going on between the guy and the girl. They say nothing the whole time and then she just walks away and he falls to his knees in shock. We're thinking maybe he might have just overreacted a little bit. I don't know mom, she just, she loved me. So you have to have one last chair for Christmas this year. <laughs> Facebook status, single, sent. <laughs> oh. Oh, what am I gonna do with my life? Why would I decide to watch a notebook right now? <laughs> this is the worst time ever. You're my only friend for Benjamin Wiggles, my Um. <laughs> What are you doing? You come back to me, my love. I said I was going to get a coffee. I thought you were never going to come back. I was gone for like five minutes. It's freezing cold in here. I went to get coffee. Five minutes is an eternity for me, my love. All right, you're pretty much a weirdo. I'm single again. Ah. ah, ah. 
Okay, now we're starting to think that maybe she should leave him. He's like the suckiest boyfriend ever. Hey, wanna go on a date? Great, how about I take you to a creepy ass museum with terrifying portraits that look like it was set on fire. And when the inside of the building starts snowing, not only do I ignore the fact that it's pretty freaky, and we should GTFO out of there, but I don't even offer you my jacket, even though you're clearly freezing since you're wearing just a dress. I said it was a boyfriend. I never said I was a gentleman. So besides boyfriends need to work on their boyfriending skills, we think boyfriend videos have some of the best info box descriptions ever. What they wrote for Love Style a few months ago was a gold mine of awesome. This time around, the info box is far more coherent, but I had a part that really stuck out in my mind. In case you didn't know it, the info box tells you that this video shows, and I quote, the boy's dramatic transition into fierce masculine man! Exclamation mark. Now, I would have understood if the transition was from boys to men. That would make sense to me, but it's more than that. It's not even that they're just plain men. They're they are the masculine kind of men. And then just to up the ante, they are fierce masculine men. The testosterone in this video is through the roof. Or is it? I'll let you be the judge of that. As for the English of the song, I'm giving it a say. Four out of five. There's only one line of English in the song and it's in the chorus. It's supposed to say, you're not a bad girl. Instead though, it sounds to me like they're saying, Indeed, boyfriend, she is not the bad girl. Unless she is justice and protection. For your stating the obvious, I give you a four out of five. Last week we asked you who you thought should be added to unique unit, Max or Boa? And even though a lot of you said that Boa was the much better dancer, you picked Max, obviously. Having Max and Max step would have made that video a bazillion times better, especially every time he danced moved and the lights turn out, it would have been hawk that and lovely. For this week's showdown, we ask you whose emotional breakdown you preferred, boyfriends and Janus, or M. Blacks and Cry. Leave your sissy baby votes in the sissy baby comments and we'll announce the sissy baby next week. Also, we're announcing the winner of the Block B Science City giveaway in our blooper reel, so make sure you check that out. It's giveaway time. We have one special edition boyfriend CD available because there was only one left in the store. So we're gonna be giving that out to you, our YouTube subscribers, since we just passed 250,000 subscribers and we want to thank you all for being so awesome. To win the CD, answer the following skill testing question. Throughout this Music Monday, we planted a whole slew of Batgirls. We wanna know how many Batgirl images did we include in this video? We're not gonna choose someone who tries to spam their way into victory, so choose your answer wisely. We'll announce the winner next week on our Music Monday blooper footage, which is located over here on our Simon and Martina bonus page. If you didn't know we had that, it's right here. You should subscribe. Lastly, because we give away so many awesome CDs to our subscribers, don't forget to like and favor this video and to subscribe for more Music Mondays. Take it away, Sissy Baby Spudgy.